Hello, welcome to this basic tutorial on unwrapping objects for 3ds Max. Okay, for this tutorial we're going to be using a basic cube, or a box in this case. Just create a box and I'm going to use some creation parameters that leave all the sides uh, the same length, so 32 in this case. Length and segments, wood segments, height segments, I'll leave the same. Okay, while I am setting this up, I should set up and manage the scene. So I'm just going to set up a new new project for this. Uh, under my projects directory, make a new folder. Uh, UV unwrap. Okay. And what's selected. Okay. So I've got a scene here uh, created. Alright, so with the cube selected, I am going to apply a modifier called uh, unwrap UVW which you can't quite see in this recording but it is there and there it is and uh, basically I'm going to select the edit from the parameters here to open up what's called the UV editor um, which is like so so here you have some of the basic controls available in all the viewports and Macs so while you have that open expand and select face from the unwrap UVW modifier and click and drag selecting all the faces like so. Then we're going to apply one of the most basic mapping to this object which is flatten mapping. We're going to turn off rotate clusters and fill holes click OK. And here you can see how it's being laid out uh, using that method. So now we're going to output this to an image file so we can edit it in Photoshop. So to do that, uh, click select tools and go down and select U render UVW template and I'm just going to set some values here at 512 because it will fit nicely inside this screen grab and render. <coughs> there you go. So you have to save it, of course. I have one from a previous example but I'm going to save this one as a PNG because it will store a transparency with it. W template okay and save and just go for a 24-bit RGB should be fine so close that close this and that okay nice so I'm going to switch to Photoshop and then open this file and we're going to select the UVW template straight from here and you can see how the transparency is working immediately here. So down in the layer section of this, I'm going to name it uh, um, say UVW layer. Oops, if I can spell, it'll be nice. Right, and I will lock it. I don't want to edit this layer at any stage. This will basically be a template or layer that I want to just hold the data of the UVs and nothing else. So just create a new layer, drag it below it, and I'm just going to call this base layer. And I'm going to flood this a white color using paint bucket. And I'm also going to lock this layer because I don't want to paint on that one either. Uh, and what I'm going to create is a middle layer I'm going to call the paint layer and that I will paint on. Now what I'm going to do is basically uh, paint some detail onto this but more as identification detail <coughs> just to see how it corresponds with how it is in, in 3ds Max. So it's pretty straightforward. One, two, three, four, five, six, so, so file, save as, and I'm going to put it into the correct projects directory. So I created one called UV Unwrap from before. Scene assets into images. So UVW template, but this time I'm going to change it to UVW, or more of a case, cube diffuse, because it is a diffuse texture. And O1, because it might be more than one. And then go OK. So now to switch back to 3ds Max and to apply that texture. So open up the material 
editor, or the slate as I like to call it now. Uh, here's one from prior, but I'll create a new one by dragging in a standard, dragging in a bitmap for applying the cube diffuse PSD. Open and just go off the basic parameters for settings and connect it to the diffuse color. Right click and assign the material and switch it on in the viewport. And I'll just close it because there you go. Here you can see how a basic uh, material has been applied to this unwrapped cube. And that ends the basic tutorial in Unwrap UVW.